This week on the Vic Meyer Show, we're moving around somewhat. Heading down from Northern California to Southern California, covering a couple things in between there. Calming hip and joint, proactive wellness, mobility, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, check us out at baileycbd.com. Then out to Mesa, Arizona for my primo Kiki's birthday. Happy 50th. He's first, I'm next. together and celebrate 50 years together this one's for you Kiki much love but first I want to take a moment to thank David Boroff for stopping by Liberty Bar leaving a great tip and surprising me call himself a fan but I call you a friend thank you David remember to like share and subscribe it really helps me out and also I want to thank David Reimers my only Patreon subscriber, you can support me there as well. I do appreciate all of you out there who are helping this dream come true. Well, I'm glad to know I got it. Uh, you always had it. Get it? I got it. Good. <laughs> Thank you, Laurel. That was so fun. At this moment, I need to take a slight detour with the show as I'm sharing pieces of this former episode with a very heavy heart. The Vic Meyer Show lost a very good friend this week. The curator of the Glass Outhouse Art Installation, an amazing human being, Laurel Seidel. Oh yeah, you need to take your picture. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> and what's your name? Laurel. Laurel, thank you very much. You're the Laurel who's responsible for all of this. Yeah, huh? I'm responsible for this mess. Well, thank you. <laughs> I've, been, I've been working on the grounds for 14 years, and the gallery will celebrate the end of its 15th year in June. This is, I'm sure it was a lot of work. And... Well, it's an ongoing project. Every month I add something new outside. Sometimes it might be a little lizard or a great big dragon. And it just depends on what I find and what I can afford. You That's know. cool. Can people bring you? Huh? Do, do you? Is there a way for people to bring you any uh, art well, pieces? Well, sometimes or? I take outside displays. Maybe yeah. if they check with you first. Yeah, I don't want them just coming <laughs> chopping off stuff. stuff here. You know? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you guys know a little bit about that, right? What? <laughs> no comments. <laughs> but anyway, so enjoy yourselves, Thank and you. if you have any questions, you come and ask me. Yeah. And if I don't know the answer, I'll make something up for you. <laughs> <laughs> We like made up answers. I'm yes. really good at this. Oh, okay. Thank you, Laurel. We just want to be entertained, and you've done a great job. Oh, yeah, you sure did. Well, we do a lot of that here. <laughs> you sure you still have it, right? Uh, yeah, I am. Uh, Laurel made sure that I have it. You get it at the Glass Outhouse. Everything you've always wanted, it's here. Yeah, you can only get it at the Glass Outhouse. Yes. And so wherever you are... There it is. So even if you give it away, you still have it. Well, I'm glad to know I got it. Uh, you always had it. Get it? I got it. Good. <laughs> Thank you, Laurel. That was so fun. This is it. You've always wanted it. Now you have it. If your child wants it, give it to them. If he can't live without it, give it to him. If it just happens, give it to them. Laurel in the Glass Outhouse. Wonder Valley, California. Make the most of your time with the right people. People who resonate with your soul and energy. Appreciate the ones who get you. That sharing of vibrational energy is special. And I'm really going to miss you, Laurel. Sorry we didn't have more time together. Hate to see you go. But I love to watch you leave. This week I'm headed out to Mesa, Arizona. Why you say this time of year am I headed to Mesa, Arizona? Well, because I love Mi Primo. Enrique, or as we call him, Kiki. And Kiki is turning 50 years old, just about a month before I do. Feliz cumpleaños, Primo. Enrique, Kiki, mi amigo, y mi hermano. Gracias, Pati. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kiki. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Woo! What you doing over there? 
You gonna find me a four leaf clover? Huh, Mickey? Are we gonna find a four leaf clover? Or are you my four leaf clover? <laughs> I think we already answered that one. All right, baby girl, let's go. Come on, let's go, let's go. Yeah, you're such a good girl. And what an awesome collar she has there. Thank you, Whitney. Who doesn't love donuts? I'll tell you this much. Anybody here in the greater Arcata area can certainly appreciate a donut. Don's Donuts. Still a late night staple right here in Arcata, California. Dawn's Donuts. Now, normally these days, I spend a good portion of my time out at Blue Lake. The weather's just a little bit nicer, a little bit warmer, a little bit more sunny. And it's home to a couple of my favorite places, Mad River Brewing and the Lager Bar. You may or may have not noticed, but Bert's been sitting still. And, well, van life has changed quite a bit for me. As I've now moved past Bert and enabled my adventure vehicle miniature. This is the Subaru Crosstrek and a great adventure vehicle equipped with the Yakima roof box, the Yakima Slim Shady. Less stickers, but you know, I got the important ones. Thank you to Aaron and Jay over there at Bailey's CBD and Bailey's Pet Health. I really appreciate you hooking me up with all these goodies for my kids. The No More Itchies is working great for Mickey as well as the calming CBDs. Well, they help in this process where I'm introducing my new dog to my cats that I've had for quite some time. And while well, everybody's getting a little dose of chill, thanks to the folks over there at Bailey's CBD, Jay and Aaron, thank you very much. You know I love you guys. Much love. 
Again, I'm going to take you out with another preview of what you can see in the coming weeks right here on the Vic Meyer Show. Every Wednesday and only on YouTube. <laughs> Is that comfortable? Oh, Mickey. You're one of a kind. Make sure our hearts are struck with fear. So it's from the hands we choose to feel. So, just outside of our cute little bungalow is the world famous largest leash free area in all of the world. I mean, it's, it's called Dog Beach. It's made just for you. And even the restaurant too. Remember, when you're out there on the road, keep it between the lines, look out for Smokey because they are definitely looking out for you. And as always, thank you for allowing me to entertain you. This is the Vic Meyer Show every Wednesday on YouTube. Please like, share, and subscribe. And also, you know I love those comments, so keep those coming. Look forward to seeing you right here next week on the Vic Meyer Show, only on YouTube. Much love. We're stopping now at a lesser-known parking area off of Highway 8 going eastbound. And I'll show you why in just a moment. When you're traveling with a dog, oftentimes you have to stop and let them stretch their legs and use the outdoor facilities, if you will. And uh, along the way, there's all sorts of interesting little roadside attractions and monuments that you may never have noticed if you didn't stop and stretch your legs.